Welcome to uh, Izzy Curry and Max Grin and Madison Boudreau. Boudreau, I said that, that was right. right. Good job. <laughs> Three amazing seniors who are student leaders with the Salsa Club um, at Needham High School. Let's just begin with Max. What is Salsa? What does that stand for? Why don't we start there? Yes, so Salsa stands for Students advocating for life without substance abuse. It is an advocacy club at the high school that focuses around healthy decision making. Uh, we love to debunk myths about any substance misuse in the high school, especially for eighth graders. And really, we just try to get out the message of healthy decision making and making those healthy choices. Um, and it does, doesn't have to just be around substances and drugs. It can be towards just life choices in general as well. And just making those kind of um, good, good healthy decision making skills early on so that it can benefit you in the future. So, so Max, how did you get involved in Salsa? When did you get involved in Salsa? Yes, so I got involved freshman year of high school, like from the get-go. Um, the, the, one of the things that the club does is they go into the eighth grade uh, health classes to do presentations, and that's where we debunk the myths for eighth graders. Like, we, high schoolers don't go get blackout drunk on Fridays after a football game, things like that. Um, and I first uh, heard about this club in those presentations when I was in eighth grade, and I knew that's cool, I want to do that. So basically, the second I got the chance to sign up for it, that's what I did. So, and I've been part of it ever since. And, and Madison, is it the same for you? You've been involved since yeah. when? I got involved sophomore year. Yeah. Um, once I'd like gone acclimated in the school, the same thing. I knew about the club from eighth grade, and so I had a good idea of what it was about and just wanted to be a part of that, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, say the same thing. I kind of had a similar experience. I remember like after freshman year, I kind of wanted to start getting more involved in various clubs. And so I reached out to a few friends and I was like, does anyone want to join with me? And then I found out Izzy was too, and that was exciting. And then, yeah. So and you had this experience in eighth grade where you, you had some- Yeah, so we were familiar with it because yeah. of our eighth grade experience with like the club coming to our class, so, but we just got a later start to it. So students um, advocating for life without substance abuse yeah. and a lot of other things as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to get back to the eighth grade for a moment. So have you been already in eighth grade classes this year? Yes, we have. So Izzy, tell me a little bit about that. What, what do, you know, you've got, first of all, you're kind of rock stars when you go to the middle school because you're yeah. this high school senior and it's like amazing that you're coming and talking to them. What, what was that experience like uh, this year when you went to the eighth grade? I mean, I love it for me even. It's so fun to interact with them and they're pretty receptive to what we have to tell them. So it makes it just like a really good experience. But we do like cahoots and gim kits to make it like fun ways to learn the information. And most of it is just debunking like myths about what people think high school is like. So we show them the actual statistics that we have from the Metro West data to say, mm -hmm look, people in actuality aren't using as much as you may have previously thought from things like movies. So it's just an educational but also fun experience for everyone. We let them ask us questions so we can tell them about the high school. So yeah. Do, 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 they, do they have some interesting questions about the high school, Madison? I think they get a little um, hesitant to kind of ask questions. So sometimes we kind of have to like propose various questions that we think they might have. And I was just going to add on to that also and say it. I, one of my favorite things about the experience is just it kind of goes beyond just like um, the substance misuse aspect and youth prevention. It kind of just becomes like a personal experience about high school in general. And I think that's what really gets their attention is they find that really interesting. But we also are able to talk to them about all different things related to high school. And so I think they feel really connected to it and it kind of warms them up for what they're about to experience as they come into high school. Oh, absolutely. And just thinking about questions in general about as you mature right. and, and what does that look like and, and how am I going to handle high school and some of the decision making because there are a lot of things going on in yeah. high school. And um, Max, what, uh, what do you appreciate, what do you enjoy doing with the eighth graders? I mean, what's a, you know, you have more classes to visit mm -hmm. uh, during the rest of this year? Yes, we do. Um, what's a takeaway from you with those interactions with the eighth graders? Oh, well, like I've, I've done so many trips with them. Like, it's just such, um, such a nice experience to do. It's, it's, I mean, I am kind of an exception. I do it a little bit too much, a little bit too often. <laughs> like, um, so really it is just one of those experiences that like, if you have the chance to do it, you really should. Because being able to be sort of on 
not the receiving end, but on the giving end, being able to give your own advice, being able to give your own thoughts and um, your, your own sort of ideas into the conversation is a very, like, really good experience. And that's probably one of the things that really drew me in the most with this club was that I had a place to give my thoughts and ideas for once instead of just mm -hmm. receiving information over and over yeah. and over again. Well, you know, let me just, let's talk about the topic, the content for a moment, because I think some folks who might be watching this or, or out in the media, there, there are parents, community members, other adults, uh, even even eighth graders mm -hmm. out there in the world who think, well, you know, those high school students, you know, they're just partying all the time. Sure, at Needham High School they work hard and, and they're on teams, but there's just a lot of drinking and drugging. Is that what's going on with Needham High School students? No. What, uh, what, what, what's, what's happening? What's your experience and what does the data show? Yeah, so my experience, I haven't seen it at all, like ever. Um, and the few stories that I've heard of people actually like presenting the idea, it's like, hey, let's go drink beer or something. A lot of the time, people have said no, if not all the time. And the data shows that a majority of high school students don't uh, misuse drugs and alcohol. It, this, the data's there. We had a Metro West health survey, uh, I believe last year, and that data has been released recently. And the data just shows that majority do not drink, don't misuse, don't smoke, all of that. Is that consistent with what, you know, Izzy, you share yeah. with students and Madison, what you've experienced with, with yeah. friends? And I think one of the major things we kind of try to convey to the eighth graders when we go to their classes is I think there's like a huge conversation topic when it kind of comes to this kind of stuff is peer pressure. And I would say that I think everyone at Needham High School, that, um, which is really great, is that everyone's very like, I mean, sh I'm sure that happens here and there and I don't want to like diminish that, but I think overall there's like a really there's not much peer pressure that happens. I think everyone's pretty open and kind of understanding to everyone's like choices and experiences. So I think that's kind of something we really try and emphasize to the eighth graders is peer pressure definitely does exist, I'm sure, but it's not something super prevalent at our school, which we can be really proud of. Yeah. I mean, the reality is there are drugs and alcohol um, out there and Needham High School students have been involved in the use or even the abuse of drugs and alcohol. That's, that, that could, that's happening today as we speak. We, we know that. Um, and yet the prevalence, you know, the overwhelming numbers or maybe the stories that people tell themselves from either their own high school experience or what they read in the media uh, is kind of counter to what you've expressed as a reality in the data. You know, Max, recently uh, you and I attended a, um, a SPAN meeting, a, a Substance Prevention Alliance no um, of Needham uh, network meeting where we talked mm -hmm. about some of that data and we shared that with other community partners, which I think is some of the work you do as well. Yeah, you know, Izzy and, and Madison and Max, what beyond uh, you connecting with eighth graders, what's happening, what activities do you have in the high school for, for high school students? Well, I think we try and open it up to like kind of just getting everyone involved and involving people in whatever way like works for them. So we have like weekly meetings, we have general meetings that are once a month that are very general, and then we have specific like action team meetings. So that kind of is trying to get people directly involved in what we're doing to advocate for um, and spread awareness. And then we also encourage like kind of going out into the community with like those um, going to the eighth grade classrooms. We have take back day. Um, in the community where we people come bring their prescription drugs and we dispose of them properly. Right, in fifth quarter, was fifth quarter a uh, salsa activity or is that a different activity? That was salsa, but that was a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So before okay. COVID. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we kind of try and like do different things like that and to get people involved in whatever way. We also have independent projects, which are like people can make posters at home if they're not able to, able to attend meetings. So those are kind of the things we consistently have. And those are those are posters, things that can go around the high school, posted yeah. on the wall as, as kind of public yeah. service yeah. announcements. Mm -hmm. That's just an example of like one of the ind independent projects. So we try and get people involved in all different ways like that, um, that kind of best suit their schedules since we are really busy. Uh, <laughs> well, absolutely, you are all, you're all quite busy. And the fact that you make the time for this is pretty amazing. Um, Izzy, about how many students in the high school are involved in Salsa, would you say? Over 100, I think we're at. That's so. amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. A good group. Well, you know, as we conclude our conversation here, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a couple things that are powerful. First of all, student leaders like you are going to talk to younger students who look up to you um, 
and you're sharing with them uh, what it's like to be a high school student, but you're also sharing with them that they can be empowered to make good decisions. And you're dispelling some of the myths that are out there that everybody's drinking, everybody's drugging, because in fact the data from the Metro West Health Survey uh, shows that that is not the case. And you're doing it with your voices, with, with 100, maybe more than 100 students at Needham High School is amazing. That to me speaks to uh, the, the power of your work and, and the maturity that you bring to this and I think everything you're doing is helping you and others live out uh, the, the ideals and our portrait of a Needham graduate, uh, the competencies that, that we want all of our students to have before they graduate. Izzy, Max, Madison, thanks very much for being here and thanks for your good work with SELSA. Thank, Thank you. you.